Hey, Grant, David of North Alabama here at the mountain. I wanted to show you this track because we ran a fire through here uh, maybe four or five months ago, and it looks good, looks real good. We've got, uh, we got some good results out of it. But one thing I wanted to point out to you is, and this is for the guys that manage, manage tracks that have pines involved in, in, their, in their management system, and of course we do, but what happened here is I got the fire way too hot. And what happened was, is we started up on top of the hill there, we backed it down. I got a little too anxious, a little impatient. We went down here to the bottom down here. And when we did that, we lit it on the bottom and the wind changed on us. And I mean, buddy, it came roaring through here like there was nobody's business. Now, it was good down here because we got a good kill. But what happened when it got up here to where the fire was, the backfire was, it got real hot. And you'll see behind me some of these stems back here are, are brown. And, and it scorched them all the way up to the very top, almost to the crown. And some of them, it was to the crown. And I wanted to bring this to your attention and show you this for guys that are doing management under pines is that's really not good. You don't want to do that. Now, you did tell me I need to backfire it through here, and I got a little impatient, which, you know, I've been known to do. And when we set that fire down there at the bottom, it came roaring through here and scorched these. And what's happened, they survived. They, they, they made it. I was worried that they weren't going to. But what happens is when you scorch the trees like that, you get disease and insects a better chance of getting a hold of your trees. So that's what I wanted to point out to you. So I remember years ago when you used to live in the Carolinas on days that I was burning, I'd call you up and say, Grant, you need to go out on your deck and look west and you'll be able to see the glow of, the, of my fire. And he loved that. And we had big fires like that. But and when you're doing it under pines, you really can't do that. You've got to have that back and fire so it doesn't damage your trees. Most of them will live through it, yes. But when you stress the tree that way, you're going to get insects, you're going to get disease, have a better chance of getting involved in, in the tree itself, and eventually may kill it.